Welcome back. We continue with our headline story. Hezbollah leader Hassan Azrala has said that Syria will respond to last week's Israeli air raids around Damascus by providing the Shiite militant group with sophisticated weapons. Without specifying which weapons these were, he said they could change the balance of power between Israel and the Lebanon-based guerrilla group. Meng Qingsheng has more on the expanding contour of the conflict in Syria. Days after Israeli airstrikes, an indication the balance of force against Israel may shift. In a televised address to a rally of Hezbollah supporters, Nasrallah confirmed to the world that the group's old ally Syria will provide it with sophisticated weapons. Weapons, he said, Hezbollah is worthy of owning. Please be aware, you Israeli, that if you thought Syria was a passageway for weapons to the resistance, then Syria is going to give weapons to the resistance. More than that, if you are claiming that your aggression is to prevent the resistance from being strong, then please know that Syria will give the resistance sophisticated weapons that they have never preceded before until now. Israeli officials have said that the Lebanon-based militia has tens of thousands of rockets, but that most of them are unguided. They have confirmed that the airstrikes of the past week targeted shipments of weapons from Syria to Hezbollah, weapons that included precision-guided missiles. Nasrallah promised support to any renewed Syrian effort to recapture the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. Like Syria stood by the Lebanese and supported its popular resistance financially and spiritually until this resistance was able to liberate southern Lebanon. Then we in the Lebanese resistance announced that we will stand by the Syrian popular resistance and we will offer financial and spiritual support and a coordination for the liberation of the Syrian Golan Heights. Israel launched a series of air raids near the Syrian capital last Friday. It followed those up with air strikes early on Sunday morning. However, the strikes were never formally acknowledged. Speculation remains about possible Syrian retaliation in the wake of the attacks. Syrian state media said that after decades of calm, Damascus had given the green light to carry out operations against Israel. Meng Qingsheng, CCTV.